Limitations are very powerful. They are like chains. They hold you back. They slow you down. They taunt your growth. They stop your progress and they stop you from becoming who God has called you to be. We're going to deal with them in this video. So let's get right in. Welcome back. My name is Fulfillment Obi. This is the Living Flames of Fire. Do you want to grow spiritually? Do you want to grow deeper in the knowledge of Christ? This is the right channel. So hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell icon so you will not miss out when we release similar videos like this. Okay, today we're talking about limitations, how you can live above limitations, how you can live above your limits. We have many people who have been called by God to do great and mighty things. They have been destined for mighty things in God's kingdom, but they live below God's expectations. So we have people who are stuck and trapped in vicious cycles, making little or no progress. <sighs> That's very sad. So we're going to look at some common forms of limitations that exist in our world today that most persons are experiencing in their lives. So the first form of limitation, we have the limit of ignorance. What you don't know can end your life. What you don't know can destroy you. What you don't know can make life very difficult for you. So the limit most people are experiencing today is ignorance. They don't know what to do even when God has called them to do things that are great and mighty, even if they are powerfully skilled and powerfully equipped for service they don't know what to do they don't know how to go about it the book of proverbs and psalms keep telling us to seek wisdom and knowledge so if you are ignorant if you don't know anything in life if you refuse to learn then that is going to be your limits that's going to be your limitation in life you're not going to go very far and life is going to be very difficult for you Number two is the limit of popular opinion. Yes, many people move with the crowd. They believe what everybody is saying and what is trending. So it's very difficult for them to believe what God has said concerning their life. So we have people that will be ready to do whatever the crowd wants. They are crowd pleasers. So if these kinds of people keep following the crowd and believe what the crowd is saying about their life or what other people are saying about their life, how then will they become what God has called them to be? So the limit they are currently facing in their life what is holding them back is popular opinion that is not consistent with what God is saying in their life or what God is saying concerning them Number three is the limit of your environment or your background. So many people today, most persons today, um, they are limited because of their environment. They believe that because they are from this certain geographical location or from this place, they cannot be anything in life. So they stop working hard, they stop working toward their destiny and they give up because they believe that their environment is limiting them. But this we know is a lie. No matter where you are on earth, no matter where you find yourself, it doesn't matter where you are born, you can be Become what God has called you to be if you don't allow your background or your environment to become your limitation. Number four is the limits of your mind, the limitation in your mind. Everything we have been saying, all the limitation can all be summed up into this one because if your mind is limiting you, there's nothing anybody can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. You will not go far in life. So in the real world, limitation does not exist. The most of the limitation that we experience come from our mind. If you believe in your heart and believe in your mind that you will never be great, then you will never be great no matter how hard you work so check your mind is your mind holding you back is your mind stopping you from becoming what god has called you to be is your mind the blockage that has been stopping you in the path to destiny if your mind is limiting you then you have to what start to unlimit your mind by learning and following the teachings of god and studying the scriptures believing what god has said concerning your life Okay, right now I'm going to tell you four simple things you can do to unlimit yourself or to break out of your limitations. Number one is to seek knowledge and wisdom. Knowledge and wisdom is very powerful. Um, if you live your life knowing what God has called you to do and you have the wisdom and the knowledge, then you are not going to be stoppable. Nothing can stop you. So make sure you keep learning, studying the scriptures, not just the scripture alone. Read books that can empower you. Read books that will bring you to the place that God has called you to be. Learn from every situation, learn from your experience, learn from the experiences of others. The more you gain wisdom and understanding, the more you will rise in life. 
Number two is to focus on your dreams, your calling, and your vision. So if you focus on what God has called you to be and you chase it with the whole of your might, with the whole of your power, and there is nothing that can stop you, you might be facing some challenges, some obstacles may be on the way, you might get discouraged, but if you keep your focus on the things that God has called you to do, then you are going to rise and you are going to live above expectation. You are going to be great as God has said. The promises of God will be fulfilled in your life. So don't lose your focus. Keep focusing on the things that really matters. Then no limitation on earth will be able to hold you back. Number three is to be very productive. You don't want to live an unproductive life. You don't want your life to be unproductive. You don't want your lifestyle to be unproductive. So do things that are very unproductive. Wake up in the morning, manage your time and do the things that you're supposed to do at every specific time so don't waste your resources don't waste the things that God has given to you and um, use them to actualize your dream use them to do the things that God has called you to be if you are very productive in life then nothing nothing will limit you nothing will hold you back nothing will stop you from becoming who God has called you to be and lastly work on your mindset work on your mind if your mind keeps telling you negative things then you have to train your mind to be positive if if you believe anything contrary to what God has said um, concerning your life, then it is going to be very difficult for you to rise. So work on your mindset. Whatever mindset is limiting you, whatever mindset is stopping you, you have to work consistently to make sure that mindset is being removed from you. So the easiest thing you can do is to study the scriptures, dwell on God's word, depend on the Holy Spirit and help so the Holy Spirit will help you work on your mind. If your mind is set up right then nothing in this world can stop you it doesn't matter what people are saying it doesn't matter the circumstances around you it doesn't matter the challenges it's just it's just time time will tell at the end of the day at the end of your journey you will find out that what you believe about yourself is what is going to play out in your life we as humans we are limited our physical bodies limit us a lot so that means you have to depend on God if you are not in Christ if you don't know God then no matter the level you rise to, nothing is going to make sense in your life. So you have to stick with God. He is the only one that can help you break out of every limitation. Um, do you find this video valuable? Do you gain something from this video? Are you blessed? I would love you to share this video to your friends, your family, and to everyone you feel will benefit from this video. And I would also love you to hit the subscribe button and turn your notification by clicking on the bell icon so you won't miss other powerful videos that will bless your life. We're well, talking about videos. There are some in your screen right now and you probably want to click on them. So click on them and watch your life transform. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video.